few de technical difficulties. Thank you, Christine, for helping us get through them. And thank you, Brooklyn, who's behind the camera, for helping us too. Christine is going to be feeding us some questions. And uh, we've got some customer reviews that we're going to go over today too. Um, I've got my daughter, if we can talk her into helping us do a 20-minute routine at the end. This is going to be an allergy buster. If anybody's got allergies, I tell you, this thing is absolutely incredible. And we know that from some of our previous sessions as to what it can do to help with allergies. And right now in our particular area, we've got, uh, we've got some pretty challenging allergy issues that we're dealing with. And the cellulosizer helps dramatically. We're also going to deal with the, the, the squeaky cellulosizer issue. And I'm going to show you what a cellulosizer that's been conditioned what it sounds like, and we haven't oiled this in probably a year, uh, and then I'm going to show you what one that has not been oiled sounds like, then I'm going to show you, and Brooklyn's going to follow me, we're going to take it outside and we're going to oil one of the, the squeaky cellulosizer so you can hear the, the before and after, because they should be very, very quiet, and they can be very, very quiet, because they're all built the same. Um, so we're going to ask, answer some questions. Let me read a couple of customer reviews. And Christine, I think, was going to text you. Brooklyn, some as well. Okay. This one is from Christine, but it's Christine in Australia. So thank you, Christine, for sharing this. She says, hey, Dave, I figured it out. Bought the app and I'm bouncing and solosizing with it already. It's fantastic to have such company. My sessions fly by now and I am... Just so pregnant with big expectations. Already the cellulosizer has fixed my knee problem from using a cheaper model originally. Control a slight bladder leaking. Strengthen my legs so I can now do things I wasn't able to before. Is clearing my skin because people say I look 50 and not 63, so she's the same age I am. And giving me an all-around light and fit feeling that I've wanted and tried getting in other ways for years without success. I left it alone for nearly two weeks at one stage and boy did I start to feel the difference. I got back into a quick smart and quick start and went back to feeling great within two workouts, although a little sore in muscles again. There is no doubt in my mind God has led me to the greatest invention for getting the body into tip top shape all around. The app is now my closest friend, and we are getting along fantastically. Thank you, Christine. I love the variations of music, and as I said, I fly through a routine and am finished before I know it. May God continue to bless you and your desire to see us in better health, Dave. Thank you for your acceptance to his call, and I'm so happy that he brought you through to the other side of your own health issues back then. All the best to everyone in my Cellarsizer family also. And P.S., never buy a cheap rebounder. It will set you back in months of pain. But if you have, the cellulosizer can gently fix it. Sincerely, Christine. Thank you, Christine. Um, you know, there's, we had a, a person last week talk about the cellulosizer, and it was somebody who didn't understand about cellulosize. Um, Justice, would you put him downstairs? Thank you. <laughs> okay. And... So we got liberty and justice is there. Two of them are real close. But what? Uh, oh, what was I? What was I saying? <laughs> Thanks, liberty. Anyway, um, the the cell. Oh yeah, they didn't understand the cellulosizer and the advantage and benefits of the cellulosizer. So they were just thinking that a lot of what they were reading and a lot of what they were seeing was nonsense. Was not not true. And, and it, it frustrates me a little bit when I hear somebody who is dismissing all the benefits that so many of us have experienced from the cellulosizer when they haven't even taken the time to try it, to experience it for themselves. The cellulosizer is real. It works. Been doing it for 30 years. The only exercise that we get in, in this family virtually, um, my daughter's a dancer, but... But it, uh, it works wonders in people's lives. I'm going to read another one. About 12 years ago, I was faced with a death sentence. Doctors said there was nothing left they could do and there was no hope left for me. I looked and felt twice my age. 
As a result, I was forced into an early retirement looking for ways to stay alive. I was not ready to leave this planet at the age of only 53 years old. In my research, I learned that moving the lymphatic system was key to healing. So I looked for the best ways to move the lymph along with changing my diet and lifestyle habits. There were studies stating how rebounding was the best way to move the lymph. Since I had medical bills, I could only buy a cheap rebounder. After using it for a while, I felt worse and it caused even more health issues. I thought rebounding was not for me. Yet articles from experts kept appearing for me and to read everywhere that talked about the healing effects of rebounding. Therefore, it was obvious that I had to search for another rebounder and hope that it would heal instead of hurt me this time. I tried various rebounders over the months to see and feel the differences in them so I could pick the right one this time, which I was willing to pay whatever price just to get the best one. After much experimentation and more research, I chose the Cellarsizer and ordered it immediately. The Cellarsizer arrived quickly, yet I was scared to use it. I remember feeling horrible about using the cheap rebounder, plus more time had passed of not moving the lymph, so I had more aches and pains, more bone and muscle loss, more labored breathing, and weighed only 76 pounds. The Cellarsizer set up easily despite being so weak. The challenge was to finally get back on a rebounder again. It was good that I had ordered the cellar sizer with the balance bars. It gave me confidence to climb on it and the support I needed to do some movement with less anxiety. I played music to help motivate me to move since it makes me happy. I began to slowly move my body, doing just a bounce to the music. It felt good, nothing like the cheaper rebounder did. There were no rules that I could find on how to use a rebounder, so I made up my own. It's a tool to move the lymph. I just needed to figure a way to move my sick body in any way possible. For me, it had to be fun <clears throat> and not boring. After about five minutes, I was dancing that I, had, that I hadn't done in years. Now, after nine years of cellar size dancing, playing in rather than working out, I have a better quality of life. Each year I feel younger and healthier instead of older and sicker as in the past. In June, I turned 65. Because I learned how to move the lymph system naturally using my cellar sizer, my health issues are more manageable. I feel physically I have more energy, mentally have decreased brain fog, and emotionally have eliminated depression. The cellar sizer is an astonishing piece of apparatus that assisted in creating miracles in my health as part of my lifestyle and helped me to live long, long past a few months the doctors predicted 12 years ago. Thank you, Dave, for designing the best rebounder that gives me hope instead of fear to stay on my healing journey. And thank you so much for, share, Sharon, for, uh, for sharing that. And I, I remember Sharon from years ago. She's a, she's a dynamic person and she's a fighter. And, and you know, all of us, and I've said it many times before, we all have a greater health potential. What the cellar sizer is designed to do is to help promote a way that we can reach that greater health potential. And there's a lot of reasons for that. And if you haven't had a chance to look into cellar size much, please visit our website or some of the other YouTube videos that, that explain it in more detail. So, Brooklyn. Do you want to answer something? Sure. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. And thank you, Christine, for getting this over to us. You're a big part of the family and everybody... Everybody loves you. Hi, Dave. I have a lot of sinus congestion around the eyes and in nose, giving dark circles under my eyes. Will rebounding help? What should I do specifically? Thank you for your help. Congestion is a clogged up lymphatic system. It can be caused from a number of different issues, but irrespective, um, when, the, when the body does get clogged up and when the sinuses get swollen, it's not a very comfortable feeling when we get congested. One of the advantages of a cellar sizer, and it's a big advantage, is as we move up and down, the pressure changes up and down, activate millions of one-way valves in the lymphatic system. And if you take a jar of water with a bunch of dirt clods in it, and you walk around all day long, you're just, just going to be congested. But the moment you move up and down, you begin to break up the dirt clods. The moment we begin to move up and down on the cellar sizer, we begin to open up the lymphatic and circulatory systems, and it starts to um, provide immediate relief. And, and 
the movement up and down, you've got, you just have to experience. When you move up and down on the subtle sizer, if you can do a little running, it activates the lymphatic system more effectively. Um, and then the movement up and down again helps to break up those blockages, increase circulation. So the health bounce or baby bounce um, interspersed with some running, if you can do a sprint, great. And then the moving up and down again has been very effective in helping to clear um, sinuses and congestion. Hi Dave, I've been sitting on my leg for the past couple of days and today it feels numb. Jumping on the subtle side has made it feel better. But what movements can I do to totally relieve the numbness? Love the subtle sizer. Ty, for any advice. Okay, um, if we have a blockage or a condition, there's a technique I do on the subtle sizer I'm going to show you that is good for digestion, elimination, the thighs, the hips. People that have sciatica have had wonderful results with this. Again, if you have a health or medical condition, I'm, con I'm compelled to say consult with your doctor or health practitioner. But this twisting motion, which is good for the digestion elimination processes, the lower back, if you take your feet and you move them in and out so you're not just twisting like this, but you're at actually twisting in the hip area, socket area as well, it starts to open up the circulation all throughout this, this area. And again, the moving up and down is going to stimulate circulation too. That's how we help promote healing and reduce inflammation. I'm a 69 year old woman and received mine on April 9th. I've been using mine three times a day for two to three minutes each. It has helped my arthritis and my hip greatly. Thank you. I have also noticed my urge to want sweet snacks have ceased. Is this normal or just wishful thinking? Thank you. There's so much that occurs within the, within the body when we bring the chemical balance back to the body. Now keep in mind that on a cellar sizer, as you're moving up and down, everything else is too. The thyroid, the endocrine system, is everything is being stimulated. And blood chemistry can start to change. And when the body becomes more balanced chemically, we can feel better physically, but the body's performance can improve as well. So one of the advantages of cellar size as we move up and down, it's not limiting it to the muscles. It's on every single cell, internal organ of the body. They are all collectively expanding and contracting in unison. So as, as the body works collectively as a whole, it starts to perform better as a whole. So thank you. Dave, can you demonstrate the ski patrol for a senior? You do it as effortlessly as I have, and I have a really hard time doing that particular movement. What muscles does that employ? Thanks for all you do. Okay, thank you. So we can start off with our feet spread apart a little bit and simply rocking left to right. The rocking left to right helps to loosen up the lower back. The hips are dropping down into the mat instead of getting hitting against a hard surface. And it starts to strengthen the hips, the thighs, and the knees. As we master this and we feel pretty good about it, well, then we can step across the unit like this. And as we're stepping across the unit, side to side, we start this until we get the, the coordination and the, uh, the idea, and then we just start to hop side to side. And as we're hopping side to side, now we're working the hips, the thighs, and the knees even more. When we lift our shoulders up and down, we start to work the vertebral joints all up and down the back and the shoulders. And that's uh, it's a great technique. Okay, can you get it back? <laughs> Thanks, Brooklyn. Thank you. Okay, so next. Um, I have built up muscles in my legs by rebounding. I need to lose fat. What exercise do I need to be doing so my legs don't get bigger? Okay, now keep in mind the cellar sizer is not, it's not like weight lifting. You're not going to build up big bulky muscles. You can build up very lean, strong, efficient, healthy, flexible um, performance muscles without question. But when you do the Jamba run, for example, yeah, you'll build up the muscles, but they're not going to get big and bulky because you're not putting a lot of weight on it. This aerobic, 
So as you bend the knee, keeping the back straight and the feet flat, and you start to do the Jamba walk, this is going to work on these muscles. As you get stronger and then you do the Jamba run, that's even more intense. But it's not going to build up big bulky muscles. It's going to build lean, strong. Brooklyn, I don't know if you can turn that off or not, but it's going to build up big or strong, lean, healthy muscles with great circulation because it's challenging the, the, all, all the uh, blood vessels and capillaries all throughout the, the leg. Thank you. Okay. What's the best move to tighten my tr turkey neck? All right. Um, there are muscles underneath here and under the skin. And, and as far as collagen, when we lose collagen, yeah, and, and a lot of people that overdo it can, can, I've overdone it, can lose collagen as well. But when you tilt your head back a little bit, these muscles will tighten because it has to hold the head up. And as you tight, as you tilt backwards slightly, and you start to leverage your body weight even more by simply tilting this direction. All of these muscles, every time I come down in the neck, they're moving. They're, they're having to hold the head up. So they start to tighten this area, the jawline as well. If you want to have more leverage, you can tilt back further. And that's when the performance bar helps as you tilt back and kick your legs out this way. And as I tilt back, those muscles are flexing even more. So um, I open my mouth a little bit because if you keep your mouth shut, it's going to stretch the skin more. When you open your mouth, it, it helps to tighten that area, but without overstretching. I got it. So thank you. Thanks. So ho hope that helps. Okay. Is it best to eat before cellar sizer and is it okay to do right after eating? Um, I would wait after eating. You know, it's best to wait 20 minutes after eating. We've got a sphincter muscle up here and the food and the acids that are digesting the food are slamming up against sphincter muscle if you're doing it too early. Um, it's, if you cellar size before you eat, chances are you won't be as hungry. Um, if you cellar size after you eat, I, um, do it gently. I wouldn't do any of the higher intense activities, but actually after a big meal, walking like this, great. Get those, those digestive fluids moving into the stomach. This one here, very gentle. Um, problem that happens often when people eat great big meals is that they go and sit down. And all the blood and everything moves to the digestive area. And a lot of heart attacks that hap happen over the holidays because of that very reason. So when we eat a big meal, yeah, go for a walk or walk on the cellar sizer. If you're entertaining guests, go ahead and entertain the guests. You can talk and, and cellar size. You can hear how quiet this is. Pretty quiet. Okay, so you can hear a squeaky one. <laughs> I didn't get it in time. Thank you, Brooklyn. All right. Okay, so next. Um, is it best? Okay, I'm going to skip that one. Does rebounding help with nitric oxide release? I don't, I don't have a lot of uh, studies on that. Um, it's, I know nitric oxide supplements are, are a thing today. Um, I just know that cellar size helps the body collectively work efficiently and effectively. I don't have any, any data on the other, so I'm really not, I can't, I can't give any information on that, but thank you for the question. If a young person who wears shoe orthotics to ease pain of improperly developing bone plates, feet, calves, um, uses the cellar sizer, should it be done bare, sock-footed? Um, any encouraging reports about young people relieving the growth plate pain through cellar sizing? Okay, that, the, the movement up and down on a cellar sizer helps the body to realign itself naturally. Now, if you have 
a genetic issue, then you may need, and there's rarely, but, but occasions where you might need that additional support. But bones and muscles and ligaments and tendons, they will move to support our natural alignment. So if we're moving up and down on a solicitor and we're doing it in socks, the foot is, and the muscles of the foot are going to start to move and become more flexible to support your natural alignment, not the alignment of a shoe. A shoe is more restrictive. And actually, when you're on a sizer, it can be more painful wearing a shoe than, than not wearing a shoe. But, but there will be an, ad, an adaptive or adaptation process that occurs over a period of time as those muscles, bones, and ligaments adapt. When I work with chiropractors, um, and I work with a lot of them, they make an adjustment, but the muscles, again, are not used to the new alignment. So they have a tendency to pull the bones back out of alignment. We need to address those muscles and those supporting tissues and, and ligaments and tendons. And one of the advantages of the cellar sizer is that after an alignment, when appropriate, and you're not under a lot of pain, you can get on a cellar sizer and start to move up and down and do these different movements. So the muscles that are tight start to loosen and balance with the muscles that are looser and vice versa so that it expedites the healing process. And we get a lot of our, our, our chiropractor um, customers and, and distributors and affiliates because of they see the results that their patients are having with the cellar sizer and that causes them to look into it and become interested and I have a chance to work and I've worked for many many years with wonderful wonderful chiropractors um, I, I really believe that we all should be going to a chiropractor occasionally there's not all chiropractors are created equal, just like not all cellar sizes are created or rebounders are created equal. But if you have a good one, then, then it can be helpful. Yes. All right. So we've got, if I wanted to lose weight, like lots of it, and I mean kilograms and kilograms, how many minutes of rebounding per day is advisable? And is it all Jamba? Okay, Liberty, you and I are going to show them um, a routine that will burn calories and, and you know, it's, it's, it's intense. You want to work the biggest muscle of the body. You want to increase oxygen to the bloodstream. Cells need oxygen to burn the calories. And we want to do it in a way that is not um, obviously going to damage the body, but is going to cause a need for more and more fuel. And so by doing repetitions of the Jamba Run incorporated with other movements, then the body is, metabolism is going to go up and our body's need for fuel is also going to go up. And so we take advantage of both of those aspects with the cellar sizer without a jarring impact on the joints like you might get with a typical, <laughs> typical um, aerobic impact sports. My knees are making noises since jumping. They don't hurt, but should I be concerned? Uh, you know, that's mine do too at times. You know, there's, but then I've torn my knees off. So many times, as we build and strengthen the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knee, they help support it. So um, I wouldn't be concerned. There are little gases that can build up in there. There could be other issues um, that, as long as it's not bothering you, uh, I, wouldn't, um, I wouldn't be too concerned about it, with it. Okay, so you hear this cellar sizer. Yeah, I could, I could. Put a little additional oil on it, but it's very quiet. All right. Now, here's the cellar size that's never been oiled. And sound familiar? Many of you may have a cellar size like that. So, we're going to do a quick little demonstration of how to take this off in Brooklyn. If you can follow me with the camera, we're going to kick this balance bar off first and this is just oh here i'll show you it's a button you push yeah there you go okay all right so up like this and this is what i do you just kind of push it down finish lifting it off that's how simple it is to take and then i'm going to put the rubber feet back on Okay, to oil a cellar sizer, I start at the hinge where it folds in half, and I generally just go to the right. I put a drop of oil here, a drop of oil here, 
a drop of oil right there and a drop of oil right here. So everywhere that the steel is rubbing against the steel, I will put some oil. I work my way all the way around back to this section here. And you can do both sides if you can. And then I get on the subtle sizer. I will bounce around a little bit to move the oil. And the, the first, that's the first one. Then if it's a brand new unit, I will do it one more time and then get on it again. The oil and the steel rubbing against steel, it will polish the steel so that it becomes smoother and smoother and quieter and quieter. So that this unit, which was very, very squeaky before I began, you can hear it now. So much quieter. And then this unit, which we've maintained, it is it's also very, very quiet. And just um, so you know that as the years go by and the saddle size is broken in, it becomes, it's like a slipper. It just becomes very, very comfortable, very quiet. And it's because we use good quality steel. Okay, well, we stepped outside. We lost the Wi-Fi. So for those of you who are going to see how I oil the unit. I'll explain it while I'm indoors. Um, but you heard this was the very unit that I was jumping on a moment ago that was real squeaky. I want you to hear it now. It's, it's, it's so much more quiet. And if I put it all even on the even surface here, it's still getting quiet is not quite to this point yet, but it will be. And the neat thing about it is that um, the first time I will put a drop of oil around from the hinge area, I pull it back, I put a drop of oil here, I do it outside, here, <laughs> here, here, on each point where the steel rubs against the steel. And I just work my way all the way around the unit, then I get on it. I will jump around a little bit. You can hear it's, it's working its way in now already. And then time. And guys, you can make your cellar sides are very nice and quiet. And the neat thing about it is that the oil and the steel will polish the steel, making it smoother. Next week, we will do our um, a routine that I'll take everybody through. Um, again, in the interim, I, I, want, I want to share something with you. Enjoy the journey. Success isn't the destination. We often think it is. It really isn't. That's the fruits of our effort. Success is the journey. When we can wake up and we can appreciate every day, and appreciate where we are right now and know that we have an opportunity to continue to make a difference. Now, every one of us are going to be challenged in our health, in our relationships, in our life, in our work. Um, and those, those challenges that we have are opportunities to define our character. And if we don't make the right choice, then the conditions around us often govern the conditions within us. But as we become stronger, and we think of all the reasons why we can appreciate where we are right now and where we're headed, then we take on a whole different personality. We can enjoy the journey. If we're not enjoying the journey, we are being tested. And when we all go through difficult times, I'm not saying it isn't going to be difficult. I'm saying that you, you, your, your strength of character is going to be determined in how you deal with those challenges. Some people don't deal too well with them. Other people have been through so much and you wonder how can they be so positive. It's a choice. We exercise that. And over a period of time, we start to move in that direction. So every day we have an opportunity to make a difference and to be a difference and to become a difference. So thank you. Um, thank you to everybody in the Seller Size family. Thank you for sharing the Seller Size program with your family and your friends. Um, if you know anybody who's interested in a trifold, I 
suggest they get it right now because we are going to be back ordered. There's nothing we can do about that. Um, and we're doing the best we can to make sure we have as many half-fold cellar sizers um, available until we have, until we get some more trial. Um, thank you, Christine. And thank you all of you for sharing your, your thoughts of wisdom, your ideas, your support, and for your patience as we continue to develop more programs. If you've got the Mr. Rebounder app, make sure you do an upgrade. Now, some of you may do, it may do it automatically. For those of you who don't, go back to the Google Play or, or the Apple Store and make sure that you have the updated versions because we're constantly making little tweaks and changes so we can make it more effective for you. There are additional modules and movements that we'll be doing um, that we're working on putting together right now that we will make available. And for those who don't know much about it, if you go to mrrebounder.com. Thank you again. We will see you next week and stay healthy.